All right, ready, ready. I had a little extra time on my hands um, today, so I've been wanting to make a video on my experiences with a clothing company called Duluth. Now, I'm lucky in the fact that I actually have a Duluth store within driving distance to where I live. Now, it's not close. It's like 45 minutes, but I like to go and um, actually try on clothes uh, before buying my heat order and stuff and then having to send it back. Um, and being that I'm a large person who is not necessarily a very tall person, I find clothing shopping to be a chore in the least. Um, but I found Duluth. And um, I can't tell you how happy I am with the company. Um, the only downside is their clothing is very pricey in my opinion. Uh, but I found a way around that. So that's basically why I'm making this video today. Um, they have unbelievable clearance sales on their um, website. Now, if you don't have a chance to go, if you don't have a Duluth store, I don't think there's a ton of them in the United States. But like I said, I'm lucky enough to have one close by. Um, but their clothing um, sizes run on the larger side. So... I'm, to give you an idea, I'm about 5'10", and I weigh probably around 265, 270 pounds, and that's actually light for me. I've been as high as 300, and up until about two months ago, I was probably about 295, but I've been working on um, getting my body fat down, but I'm just a big, I'm a big guy. I got, you know, big arms, big legs, broad back, and... Um, not that tall, so clothing is or clothing uh, companies don't make clothes necessarily for me, but the loose does. Um, they do specific things with their shirts that are ingenious. Um, I'm sure if you're a bigger guy, you can relate to this. I'm going to give you some examples because this is actually a Duluth shirt. I got this in the mail yesterday. And to give you an idea, this is one of their brands, like they have different brands in the store. But it's made for Duluth. And these are kind of like the outdoor shirts for like fishing or whatever. Um, reflective material, um, sun reflective to keep you from, I guess, getting sunburned through your clothes. Um, they're supposed to stay cool. They're vented like I got. You can't see, but the back has a vent in it. So the air kind of goes through it, wicks away sweat. Um, those things are all nice. I could live without them. But what I what's so awesome about um, all of the short sleeve shirts that I bought. I've probably bought eight now. Um, and just to give you an idea, this shirt retails for about $65. Now, would I pay $65 for it? Hell no. Um, I paid $17 for it on clearance. Um, that's the thing. If you're willing to wait and maybe buy at a different season, but you know, I bought this now. It's This is the time to buy this stuff and it's on clearance. So um, if you go to their clearance, online clearance, area you can usually buy really nice things for like at least a third uh, if not lower I just bought I bought some pants as well which I'm not going to go into today the pants because I'm not wearing them I'm wearing jeans today but I'm going to go specifically just into these short sleeve shirts which I feel like a lot of dudes in the summer it's kind of like a mainstay if I'm not wearing like a black t-shirt or some type of t-shirt I'm wearing a button-down shirt like this uh, super light um, my used to, the go-to I used to have were um, like Levi short sleeve shirts, but um, they've slimmed up their sizing so much that I can't even wear their biggest size, their double XLs. I can't even get, like, they won't even go around my arm anymore. It's ridiculous. And then if I do happen to get it on, I can't raise my arms at all. Like, not, not at all. Now, what um, Duluth does so well with their shirts is all of the ones I have, regardless of the make or the style of it, they sew this extra section into the armpit. You can see it. It's literally a whole other piece of fabric, which is ingenious. And what that does is it allows you to, to pick your arms up. It allows you to bring your arms forward without the shirt feeling like it's gonna cut your circulation off. That in itself is ingenious to me. Now there might be other 
um, clothing companies out there that do that, but the mere fact that they do that has made me a customer. Now, the sleeves, they come down to a good spot. I don't like wearing shirts, you know, that are up here. I mean, I, I hate that. I like my shirts to hang around the elbow, you know, nice and comfortable. I don't feel like I'm, you know, on Muscle Beach or anything. Got to walk around showing off the guns all day. Um, so that material, uh, just putting that in there is a huge uh, selling point because us big guys, I mean, they don't, they don't do that for us. I mean, they make clothes for slim guys. But you would think with this movement towards, um, you know, everyone's beautiful no matter your size, like a lot of women's uh, clothing companies are making clothing for huge people. I mean, massive people. Um, but it just hasn't really caught in with the guys. What I find that the, a lot of the, um, the clothing companies do is they'll, all they do is make the shirt tails longer to, to, hide, to cover up a dude's gut. They don't take into effect that the dude actually might have some muscle on him. Um, the shoulder width is usually the same. The arm size is the same. Chest is the same. It's just more material down here to cover up their big gut. So really appreciate that. It's huge. Now, another thing they do is they put in a pen pocket, and a lot of Levi's do that. Um, and what I caught myself using that pocket for, because I carry like a Fisher Space Pen in my pocket, I don't have a pocket up here for, I don't put it up here. But what I would do in that pocket in my Levi shirt is I'd put my glasses in it, like these glasses in it. But what happens when you lean over? they fall out every time. So what Duluth has invented, and who knows if it's actually Duluth that's inventing this, but all of their shirts that I have, they have this. Now this one is underneath of the, you know, the, the button up part here, but it has a little um, flap. And I'll show you, so you take this, See if I can do it without looking. And it catches that flap and I can bend over. I can do everything. My glasses are not going to fall out. This is unbelievable that this, this mere fact is another reason that I would buy these shirts. Now with a lot of mine, they'll, they'll be attached to the side of the pocket right here. Well, this is the only one I have it has there. I don't care where it is as long as I can use it. Now these pockets are Velcro. But um, a lot of the shirts I have just have the button. Um, the only negative I have to say about the Duluth shirts, and this is just me being picky because um, um, I like to button my shirts all the way up. I just like that look. Um, but my neck is 21 inches around, and I can't expect... Uh, everything out of it like you you everything you buy there's going to be the pros and cons and you hope the pros outweigh the cons and you know you just go with that so that would be my only drawback is that the collars are a little small i do like that they're all buttoned down i hate um this is awesome if i'm riding my motorcycle um the collar's not sitting there flying up and a lot of them like this one as you can see it has a button back here too so your collar is always, it always stays where it's supposed to be, which is awesome. And then the last thing, let me stand up here, is the shirt buttons all the way to basically the bottom. Most shirts don't have this extra button. Um, the, the, this is where it starts, to, if you're a bigger dude, you know, you got... Um, I'll sit down so you're not staring at my crotch the entire time. Um, most shirts, they stop buttoning like the last eight inches and it's just the tail of the shirt. And if you're anything like me, that tail works its way up out of your pants and then you have part of your tail hanging out, part of it not. Um, so all of their shirts button almost to the bottom. So when you're sitting down, your shirt tail doesn't come out of your pants. So ingenious. I mean, I was trying to think of some other things that I noticed with the shirts when I bought them. Um, 
but just the mere fact that they just added that extra fabric into the armpit so you can actually move your arms. The little glass um, sunglasses are actually a high glass uh, flap to put your glasses in so they don't fall off into the ground. The extra button on the bottom um, so they don't come out. And they do, um, Duluth is known for their extra long tails on a lot of the shirts, like their t-shirts. They'll, uh, especially for women, um, so they don't come untucked. They're much longer. But they do make a version of shirts that are their untucked version. So if you do like to wear a shirt that's untucked, they do make a whole line of these shirts that are kind of like cut off at the bottom so they don't have the tail in the front and the back, and you can wear them untucked. Now for me, I gotta, uh, no matter how, if you call them untucked or tucked, I, for me to get shirts to fit me, um, even the untucked ones are kind of long just because, you know, 5'10 is, is pretty short for someone who's 275 pounds. So I typically always tuck my shirt in. Um, there are a few I find here and there that I can wear untucked for, for the vast majority. Um, I tuck them in. So that is pretty much it um, for my little rant or review on Duluth. Um, check them out. Just go to the website. Check out the stuff they have. Um, the last time I ordered, I bought like six of these shirts. They are range from like $12 to like $19. Super high quality, real lightweight. Um, some of them have reflective stitching. So if you're out somewhere like, you know, doing whatever, it reflects light. Uh, if you're in the woods or something, you know, they just have all kinds of, some of them are water wicking, some of them are semi um, water resistant. Um, they all have some type of SPF in them to keep you from burning, but just all well fitted. I, out of all the ones I bought, all of them fit really well. And to give you an idea, these are all double XLs on me. Um, typically a double XL is pretty tight on me. Um, like I said, I've always been kind of a go-to with Levi just traditionally, but their quality is just starting to go downhill and and everything is, all their sizes are going whoop, and to, they're literally to the point now where I can't wear, wear any of their stuff, which is sad. And plus it's all outsourced now. It's, I mean, it's made in other countries and stuff. Um, but yeah, so Duluth, check it out. They had like maybe 350 items on clearance the last time I looked and they're constantly always adding new things i bought some chinos um i'm not good I, I told myself i wasn't gonna review the pants because i even i like the pants actually even more than i like the shirts i mean the, the little extras that they put in them um, extra fabric like these have the extra fabric in the armpits the duluth pants have extra fabric in the crotch so you're not constantly riding up you can squat down and you, know, you don't feel, you can feel like your legs are going to uh be uh the circulation that we cut off in them so anyway um, talked on this for about 13 minutes. I thought it was going to be about five minutes, but, uh, I plan on making a lot of these little, just little videos on, uh, my favorite things that I found. I'm always constantly looking for new items and I kind of have in that mindset now where I buy once, cry once type of thing. Like I will pay up for something if I know it's quality and, uh, it'll pretty much last me for a long time. Um, so I have a, a new item coming in the mail. Um, I bought my son one of these when he was when he first um, finished basic training. He'd wanted a, a hitch and tender um, trucker jacket, waxed one, uh, lined. So we got it for him. Pretty expensive, like three hundred bucks. But um, talk about a beautiful jacket, and I've wanted one ever since. Um, and they just put them on sale. I got, I bought the unlined version because it's like summer here and it's super hot but looking for something that I can ride on my motorcycle um, when you're just it's just like in the morning you know when it's just a little chilly and the short sleeves is it's not it's not it's too cold for a heavy jacket but it's too cool for um, just like a t-shirt or something I wanted something that I could wear for like that type of stuff so that's supposed to be coming in the mail in the next couple days um, I hope it fits I typically have to get jackets uh, altered the sleeves usually I have to uh, have part of the sleeve cut off um, 
because the rest of it's so big. But who knows, maybe it'll fit great. But I'll do a review on that. But again, I'm gonna start making these little reviews on stuff that I find just to put it out there for y'all. Um, so in case you hadn't heard of these companies. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching this one and I'll do a review on the pants. I just need to wear them um, so that I can remember to uh, do a video on them. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.